Hey Diamonds, this is your girl Eva Ture, right back at you with another video. To our newbies, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for joining the fam bam. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also that notification bell so that you are made aware of when I drop another video. So today, we are going to kind of talk. Now, this is a bit pricey. I'm looking on the Sephora website on my phone over here. And let me say, this bad boy is $52 for 0 0.07 ounces. So yeah, I had to think about this for a little while. Um, but I decided that, you know, What's the worst cut that could happen? So let me kind of give you guys the deets on it. Again, it's 0 0.07 ounces, 52 dollars, and it claims it's a velvety priming balm of pressed silk that smooths and makes makeup last longer while keeping it out of skin, helping to prevent clogged pores and breakouts. This is a solution for oiliness, pore pores and dullness and even skin texture which you know I have a little bit of that so I'm hoping that um, it'll help me out today so I do have my eyes done my eyebrows are done of course I have my lashes on I will go ahead and put all the deets to that in the description box so if you're curious you'll know what I used and then I'm gonna go ahead and get into the demo of this and then I'll let you know once I'm done what I thought about it. Test out something that I got from Sephora. I have been curious about the Tasha Silk Canvas, so I went ahead and purchased it. I'll go over the deets for you. So it comes in this black box, pretty nice, pretty sleek. Blue on the inside, I like the packaging, okay. It comes with some instructions. I'm going to try to follow them. And then it's pra packaged pretty cute. This is this is different. I think this is the little scoop that goes with it. And then the item itself came in like this aluminum package. That's kind of cute. It smells good. And that's what it looks like. I'm going to open it. Oh, it screws. It smells clean. A little fragrance, but not too much. So let me whip out these instructions before I go ham. Okay, just tells how, you know, she came up with this. Like, it has a complex of green tea, rice, and algae. She was inspired by Geisha in their full performance makeup, which I will say that they look damn good in theirs. Okay, P.S. With every purchase you make, you help brighten the future of a girl in a developing country. One full-size skincare purchase equals one day of school. Tasha is proud partner with The Room to Read to make this change possible. Okay. Alright, so the instructions. To use, glide the round scoop, which is this bad boy, across the surface until the primer reaches the marked line. Okay. Warm between fingers and press into skin in upward strokes. Use as the last step in skincare before makeup. Okay, so I'm going to zoom you in and then we're going to work it out. We're going to try to figure it out. Alright, so I'm going to open her up. And I got my little round disc. And I'm going to smooth it across the surface. Okay, and it reached the line. So, I mean, that didn't take, I mean, you can't see it, but there we go. It didn't take that much product at all for it to reach that line. So, I'm going to close this up. I'm going to warm it in between my fingers. And I'm going to start pressing it into my skin. I'm just looking over here my... my mirror here. Oh, it smells heavenly. 
I love the way it smells. I feel like this is gonna leave me a cast on my face. Okay, so I mean no cast yet. It hasn't really dried down per se. It's still kind of creamy on my skin. But my feel my skin feels like amazing. Okay. Yeah, this could be what's up. I don't know about $52 though, girl, but I mean, we gon' we gon' we gon' test it out. We gon' see what it do. Uh oh, I put my finger in it. We gon' see what it do. All right. So this is what it looks like on my skin. It feels really silky, really soft. My face feels really, really smooth. I'm just wondering, like, how is that going to keep me from getting so oily? But I like it. I love, I love the way it feels. So I'm going to go ahead and put my foundation on, and I will be right back. All right, guys, so I'm back. I did go ahead and lay my foundation. I did my contour. I highlighted. The only thing I did not do was put blush on. I, I wasn't really feeling blushy today, but everything I did, everything else I did as normal. And I, I adore this. I think this is a very good um, product. It felt good going on. It didn't leave that white cast it didn't make it didn't make my skin feel heavy um i used my um super stay maybelline and i believe that's 352 warm coconut um it's a little light for me right now but i made it i warmed it up a little bit i made it work um uh, so yeah my first impressions is i don't know what took me so long to get it i hope that it lives up to the claims that are on the back of the box so we'll see maybe i will give you that update in another video but for my first impressions i do absolutely like the product you should definitely go out and try it it is 52 dollars i don't know if it has a smaller size all right diamonds that's it for me and as always until next time